Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to have your say on Wirral's local plan using our consultation website. The easiest way to find the site for the first time is to follow the link from the Wirral Council website wirral.gov.uk forward slash local plan. From this page we're going to click on this link have your say on Wirral's new local plan register for the consultation website. The consultation website is where you'll find our issues and options documents, also known as our local plan proposals. From this website, you can read the proposals and have your say. On the home page of the consultation website, you'll see options to register for an account or to log in if you've already registered. Registering for an account means you'll be able to leave comments as part of the consultation, but you don't need an account if you just want to read the proposals. When you register, you'll be sent a validation email this has a link that you'll need to click to validate your account before you're able to make comments. Please allow a bit of time for the email to arrive and check your spam or junk mail folders if you don't see it. You can access the proposals from the box at the bottom of the page called Wirral Local Plan 2020 2035 Issues and Options. The box also shows how long is left to have your say and if people have left comments you'll see the number of those there. Our consultation will run from the 27th of January until 5pm on Monday the 23rd of March. That's eight weeks. To view more about the proposals, click Learn More in this box. We're now in the About This Consultation area, which tells you more about the consultation. It's worth taking a few minutes to read through this before moving on to the proposals. On the left-hand side, you'll find contact details for our team, as well as a document that summarises all the questions that you can answer as part of this consultation. You'll also be able to see comments left as part of the consultation here or from the What People Say tab at the top of the page. If you make a comment, only your postal time will be shown on the website. No other details will be shown. But please be aware your details may need to be published by the planning inspector at a later stage. So please take a few minutes to read our privacy policy, which explains how your personal information may be processed. If you're only interested in a specific urban or greenbelt option site, you might prefer to use the potential allocations consultation, which is linked here. This section also has a summary of each chapter of the proposals with direct links into that part of the document. OK, now we're ready to take a look at the proposals. There are two ways to do this. You can click on the proposal tab at the top of the page, or you can use the blue view document button. The Issues and Options document is technical and covers many areas, so we've divided it into sections to help you navigate. Each section may have subsections, and you can click on the small arrows to help you find a particular part of a section that is of interest to you. We expect a lot of visitors will want to find out more about the main development options, and you can find these in section 4. You can have your say by answering set questions which are spread throughout the document and shown in green boxes like this. It's important to stress that a lot of the questions are technical questions and that you can answer as many or as few as you like. You can also answer them in any order. A separate list of the questions and where to find them can be downloaded from the About This Consultation section. If you want to answer a particular question, please click on the Add Comment button. This takes you into the particular question. Remember, if you haven't already registered and logged in, you'll be prompted to do so at this point. The first time you go to answer a question as part of the consultation, you'll also be asked to verify your details. Uh, and this information will be shown before you're able to complete a question. Please read and complete the question as it's set out. Where possible, please provide an explanation or further details. You should remember that all the main text boxes have a limit of approximately 300 words. There is a place at the end of each question to upload further comments or supporting information, for example photos or plans. If you have more than one document, please zip or compress it into one file. Remember to clearly label the contents in the file name and document. To upload a file, either drag and drop into this little box here, or you can click and browse from your computer. The file will upload and a paperclip symbol will appear to show you that it's been uploaded successfully. 
When you've completed your comment or want to save it for review later, please click on the complete comment button here. You'll now see the add comment button has changed to a commented button with a blue tick. This means the comment has been saved and it's okay to review or submit it. You can then move on to another question. We recommend, by the way, that you only answer about five questions per session, just to make it easy uh, for when you are reviewing your answers before you submit them. If the review and submit buttons are greyed out, this means you may not have completed a question properly. For example, you might not have completed a mandatory section. If this happens, please scroll down all the questions you've answered until you see a question with a red exclamation mark and an uncompleted tab, like this one here. You can then go back into the questions. The mandatory element will be shown by a red asterisk. This means that to answer this question, you'll have to complete this part of the question. Once you've completed all the questions you want to answer, you can review all your responses and make changes. Remember, you don't need to answer all the questions at once. You can log out and come back to them at a later date. But please remember, you must submit all of your comments by 5 p.m. on the 23rd of March. To review your comments, you can click the blue review button, which is at the top of the page. Once you're happy, you can then submit your comments. Again, use the blue button at the top of the page. Once you've submitted your questions and comments, you can't change them. You can log back on later though and answer the same questions if you've missed something. Once you've pressed submit, you'll leave your current session and you should log out. Finally, you can view a record of all the responses that you submitted. When you're logged in, your account details will be shown in the top right hand corner. If you click on the list and go to my submissions, you'll see a record of all the questions that you have answered as part of this consultation. If you have any problems that you can't resolve, please contact the planning team by email at localplan at wirral.gov.uk or by telephone on 0151 691 8233.